welcome to Live at Zero BPM, bringing live music to you! Tonight, it's the David Beckard One Man Band in a special solo concert! And we don't charge a cover, but musicians are paid exclusively by your tips, so we strongly encourage you to do so. Just go to live at zerobpm.com slash tip jar. You can also tip on Venmo at C-E-R-O-B-P-M. And now, let's get to the music with your host, Grammy Award-winning percussionist and mallet player, Billy Holting. Hey, everybody out there in internet land, we're back for another week. And if you're in the chat rooms, you can probably see that the bot has gone crazy asking for tips already. It's not supposed to do that, but once every 10 minutes. But it seems like it's making up for the last two hours or six hours or something. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn that off while we're playing. But just so you know, hey, this is show 116. We got David Becker back. He, this is, I think, the fifth time he's been here. He's played solo, played duo, played a trio, played a quartet. Now he's back solo again. Couldn't be more excited to have the only artist we've ever had play solo. This is uh, David Becker. But just to remind you, we are, like the bot says in the chat rooms, we are 100% tip-based. Every little bit helps. No amount is too small. No amount is too large. Or as yet, we've yet to see if there's a large amount that's too large. So anyway, let me bring David on here. Let's see. Let's get this out of the way. It's just like, hey, David, how you doing? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Great. I'm so excited to have you back. Great to be here, Billy. Cool. Well, let's get to the music like the guy says. What okay. What do you got for us? Um, I'm going to play. It's actually an improvised piece that I did, kind of debuted it when I played uh, a couple of weeks ago in Italy at a place that I play at every year for the last 10 years, or actually 12 years. It's a place called Locanda Casanova, and it's in uh, it's in Tuscany. It's actually just up the street from Sting's house. So wow. this is this is my take on that. Here we go. Very cool.
Well, the audience is really enthusiastic tonight. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Well, that's just something that I I was doing the concert in Felina, and I you know I I usually have a set where I've stuff worked out, but um, at the sound check I just started playing that little ostinato. Uh -huh. And I, I played it. I opened the set with it. And uh, I liked it so much. So now it's just sort of evolved. It keeps, keeps building and building and building. So, yeah, that's um, awesome. And, that's, and what I'm doing now, too, and um, I'm trying some new stuff out because I just did a, recently a um, thing with the Space Channel where I did live looped things that was for each planet. It's called a series called Planets. So everything was improvised there. And I also did a record with Jim Donica and... Uh, a drummer, Chris Bowman, which is all improvised. So uh, I'm kind of getting the spirit of just kind of improvising. I'm going to do a tune now, though, which is a medley of blues tunes that uh, that I've written, written several heads. Unfortunately, on February 2nd, we lost Joe DiOrio. He passed away. Yeah. And it was a very sad day for me and everybody. And Joe and I did a record together back in 2005. Um, and the tune that starts the record off is a tune called uh, Brews, uh, Blues for Brother Brew. And then uh, I... I'm going to segue that into um, a head that I did for our good buddy Brad Rebuchin, which is called Brad's Blues. So here's my blues medley. All right.
you. Your surprise endings, David. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you know. I usually, I usually wait for the drummer to fill in to the last measure. So. Yeah. When you're but playing by yourself, you've got it's, no, it's everything is on you. So it's like. I get it. But the one thing that I've I've learned a lot from doing these kinds of concerts is that you know it's really hard to play solo. But you, you I mean, when you when you play with other people, you've got to listen. But you really have to listen when you're playing by yourself. Dig. It's like. Uh, but we, ha we have a couple of friends in there. I mean, the only person who's chatted yet is Phil, our, oh. gr our friend from the Great White North. Hey, Phil. Hey, Phil. But I know that John and David are watching because they have sent tips in. So thank oh, you, great. John. Well, John's one you. of our regular, most consistent regular tippers. And David's a good buddy of mine who tips uh, generously when he comes in. He says he's loving the groove. Cool. And, uh, and let's see, did John leave on the little? John just said... Love it. Well, he didn't. He didn't write any. You know, little plays you can write him when you leave a tip. But John's like here every week, and it's great to see him here. And uh, but if you're in the chat room, I mean, if you're on YouTube or Facebook or Twitch or or even I don't I don't get the messages from Twitter, but just say hi. Tell us where you're watching from. And there, there's Steve Durgan is here. He says he's lurking. Okay. That Steve likes to lurk. Cool. So <laughs> anyway, well, well, let's go. Let's get on. What, what do you got for us now? Well, uh, we're going to continue our journey around the globe. Cool. And this is a tune that I recorded back in 2004 or 2005 on a record called Euroland. It got re-released, I think, in 2016 on an album called Sounds of the World. This is actually my wife Lori's favorite tune. So I'm going to dedicate that to her. But it's a tune that um, it's a lot of fun to play. And it's inspired by flying over the Celtic Sea and the city of Dublin. It's called Dawn Over Dublin. Oh.
Yeah. <laughs> hey, we got all our, our regulars are showing up. Joyce is here. Cool. Hi, Chris, Joyce. Joyce and Christy is here. And Diane Hi, Christy. From, from Houston, Texas says, Hi, Dan. David is absolutely awesome. Thank Great you. charts in that song. Rochelle says, sounds good. And Phil says, amazing as always. Thank you. I Can't appreciate it. Of those. Oh, and Toby's here. Hi, Toby. Hi, Toby. Uh, she's working tonight, but she said she's she's just saying hi. Okay. Toby helps us promote the shows, and she's super cool and everything. That's great. So, but I did I did notice by all the titles that we have coming up tonight that we really are uh, going on a musical trip around the world. Yes. You know that's a big part of it. I mean, a lot of the music that I've put out over the years, I started to realize that a lot of it was inspired by my travels. And I'm a very fortunate guy because I, I started traveling internationally when I was two. And by the time I was 10, I'd made, I think, at least nine or 10 trips to Europe. Mm -hmm. And I was fortunate because my dad worked for the airlines and my mom was European and we had family and we would go for a month. And as I, you know, kind of grew up into a teenager and then a, you know, young 20 guy and started doing, you know, making music around the globe, playing wherever, in Germany and all over the place, and I started to realize that that was a big part of why I was doing what I was doing. I mean, I love to play music, no doubt about it, but the actual aspect of being able to go around and play in different places always fascinated me, and, uh, you know, it's not like I go to some city and I go, okay, I got to write a song called, you know, right, this. Right. It's just that there's a lot of things that I observe, and I realize that when I start putting together the nuts and bolts of the music, that those images come up. So uh -huh. it's it's like it's not the image that inspires it as much as it is the after the fact if that makes sense. Yeah. Like yeah, you know, the, no, the memories uh, uh, I, of all the places I've traveled. Yeah, you know, I, yeah. I mean, it, you know, you know, and it's in and lucky that I'm still doing it. I mean, I just got back from a three week trip of Europe, and it was yeah. great to play in Italy again, and uh, we went all over the place. Um, but this this next tune is actually one that specifically is written about. My mom's family, I, I put a record out in 2010. It's a very, very involved project. For those of you who would like to know more about it, just look up the Batavia Project by myself. And the record is called Batavia. This is a piece that uh, was about a story about my uncle, uh, my mom's younger brother, when he was in prison camp. They were in prison camp in Indonesia in World War II. Wow. And when they got out, um, they flew back from uh, what is now Jakarta, which was at the time Batavia, to, uh, to Amsterdam, but they had to go via Cairo. And to make a long story short, my mom's stepfather was Minister of Agriculture, and he was really emaciated from being in camp. Wow. And they stopped just for a very short fuel stop, but also to get clothing for the Netherlands, because it's really cold in the wintertime in December. It was like December 24th, I think. In Indonesia, it's hot. Yeah. So they uh, they told my grandmother, go in and speak French and buy what you need and come back to the plane. Well, her husband stayed on board asleep. And when he woke up, there was nobody in the plane. But somebody had left the door open but took the stairs away. So he kind of walked out and fell on the tarmac Yikes. and broke all of his bones. And so they had to keep him in a hospital for a couple of weeks. And this, this is sort of the story of that particular th part of Batavia. And it's called Long Night in Cairo.
was awesome. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. Uh, uh, Joyce was like evocative, <laughs> and I can't disagree with that. Thank you. And, and then the other reaction, uh, well, Lori's here. Hi, Lori. We know Lori. Yes, we do. <laughs> Hi, Lori. And uh, Bunny is here, but just for a minute, she does a live show stream on Fridays. Called okay. Two for Fridays, I think it's called. Is that right, Bunny, if you're still here? Uh, but she said she wanted to check in. Okay. She has to go practice Great. for that. Okay. And uh, Christy has sent a little guitar and a little heart. Oh, thank you. You know, she's our friend from D.C. I don't know. She might still be in Vegas. I know she was on vacation in Vegas from her Facebook photos. But okay. She might be back uh, back home in uh, the uh, D.C. area right now. So. Okay. But anyway, if you're out there and you haven't said hi yet, don't be don't be shy. It's a friendly group here. So, <laughs> hey, can I do my commercial right you now may. for the Absolutely. upcoming shows? Sure. Let me see if I can find where I have that crazy thing. There it is. Let's see if it works today. Look at that. It seems to be frozen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, not sure why. Oh, there we go. Okay. So the next two Thursdays, I'm going to be gone. I am working in Iceland, and then I am going on vacation in Iceland for a few days. And I don't want to leave the guys here without me uh, available by phone to talk them through anything that happens. They have not done this in a long time. So, But after that, two-year anniversary coming up. June 11th was the first show two years ago. And that was Brad rebuking Chris Wabich and Carrie Frank. But now Brad is going to bring a trio back in. It's Mark Ferber and Ahmet Turkmenoglu. Turkmenoglu. And then I think we're going to have some guest artists. We, we don't know yet. I've been so busy wrapped up trying to get, you know, this and everything together. Um, then the 14th will be uh, the ever popular, to be determined. They're always fun. Then on the 23rd, uh, Anthony Boncero. Oh, it's just called Boncero. All capital letters. Tony's an amazing singer and amazing lead trumpet player, amazing keyboard player. He does everything. But he's bringing a five-piece in, which would be really fun. He's going to sing and, and, and do some playing. Thing. And then on the 30th, we have Susan Krebs, who, who was here before with uh, Tom Rizzo and Ken Wilde. She's bringing her chamber band in, which I think is a five-piece. And I can't remember the names of everybody that's in it. I know Scott Redman, the percussionist, is in here. You know, I don't just let any percussionist in my studio. So <laughs> <laughs> that'll be fun. And, uh, and then, I, you know, then we're still working on July and beyond. So uh, anyway, come back, hang out every Thursday night. And then I think the first, second Tuesday of each month, we do the Jazz Roundtable. So I've got a couple more. I've been way behind on the podcast version of that. But I'm going to have three in the shoot, hoping to release one next week and, you know, a week after each just to get that back up and running. Okay. Now we're done with the commercial. Can I turn off the thing there? It goes, okay. Now we're back. Hey, David. Hey. <laughs> so where, do, where is the plane going now? Where are we flying Okay, to? so now, well, actually now it's going to go to a little cat. <laughs> it's oh, like a, oh, cool. This is actually a new tune. I, I think I played this with the trio, and I had just written it. You and premiered it here. I did, yeah, and I'm going to do the solo version of it. Nice. Um, actually, the duo version, because I'm going to accompany myself. But um, it's just a tune that came up, and... I didn't have a title for it, and uh, one of our cats is called Nubis, and she kept uh, kind of hanging around when I was playing it, so uh, this is for Nubis. This is it's called Nubis. All right.
you. Well, we got a message from Nubus. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I guess Nubus is using Lori's computer. Because okay. It says, Nubus says hi. Okay. Hi, Nubus. And, and loves her song and her David Becker. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she'll lay on uh, my pedals. That's what she does. So but we, we have some other people later here. Uh, Mike is here. Thank you, Mike. Mike is a supporter of the show. And Hillary is a supporter as well. And let's see, Taylor is here. He says, greetings, Br Billy and David. And then, uh, and Bunny also added, before, before she ran off to practice, she said, beautiful guitar. And that Thank really you. is. What kind of guitar is that? This is a Heritage. This is um, Heritage uh, were the original Gibson guys in Kalamazoo. Uh -huh. And they built this for me back in 1989. Wow. And... Uh, this is, there is a David Becker model that you can get. I think there's about 10 or 15 of them running around the world. Uh, and this is the original prototype that was made back then. And it's got, we're actually nearing 2 million miles wow. of our travels around the globe. So um, it's wow. a workhorse, and she's hanging in there. So, Well, uh, uh, that's great. I, I forgot to mention Enrique says uh, hello, and he also is clapping, and he put up three 100%. Oh, thank you. 100s. And that. then uh, Angela's here also. Hi, Angela. And then, oh, <laughs> uh, well, Bunny says, still here. She said it looks like a Gibson, but now she knows because yeah. you just told her, so that's great. Yeah, it's <laughs> the same guys, you know, same factory, uh -huh. Kalamazoo, Yeah. 224 Parsons Street. So That's awesome. And then I do have to give a couple shout-outs because Heather and Michael sent in tips. Heather is a oh, friend of the you. show, and so is Michael. So uh, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Cool. So uh, we have a – you got a few more, I'm guessing. Yes, I do. This, this one is um, – this is from a, a DBT recording from 2016. Mm -hmm. We did a tour down in New Zealand where I'm going actually in September to do a solo tour. And I had gone down before to do some promo, you know, talk to some journalists and things like that. And the one journalist who's been a mainstay in the, the music scene down there, um, he's been there for 30 or 40 years, he said, are you going to do anything special for the Kiwis? And I'm like, well, uh, I'll write a song. So I That's wrote great. this for the Kiwis. It's called Kiwi Dreams.
Well, I'll tell you what, David. If the Kiwis don't like that song, you call it uh, American Dreams and all. Okay. They'll like it. They actually liked it, so. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, we got a bunch of new people. They're all coming in kind of towards oh, cool. the end of the thing. But uh, Mike is in here, and he says he's clapping. And he and Angela both left tips. That was very nice of oh, them. Oh, great. Thank you. Uh, my good buddy Chris uh, out in uh, South Carolina says, fantastic song and playing, man. Thank Chris is a great guitar player buddy of mine. Thank you so much. Let's see. And Roland is out there. Roland says, that guitar has rack and pinion steering. It does, yes. And then he writes, <laughs> man, this guy can really play. And it's like... Yeah, we don't. I, like my old teacher Jerry Stein used to say, "I don't know no bad cats." It, well, you know, <laughs> if I it, I'd be doing something wrong if I couldn't at this point. So, <laughs> and uh, Amber writes in, and she just says, "Kiwi dreams" with an exclamation point. Cool. But I want to read. Oh, I forgot to read a comment. Uh, Heather uh, sent a tip in, and she just wrote a, a note. She was just like, "Cairo" in all caps and three exclamation points. Oh. Uh, loving the sounds and emotions being drawn, pulled, created with the guitar right Thank now. Thank you. So, Thank you very much. Heather's awesome, and so. Um, and uh, yeah, okay. I see. Uh, yes, Mike. I saw Mike just wrote that he tipped, and we notice. I notice because I have like uh, aside from the video screen, I have an audio screen over here on that different computer. Then I've got a laptop with email, an iPad with sounds, and then I'm answering text messages on my laptop and uh, mixing audio and sound. It's it's kind of fun. It's a lot, and uh, I sleep well after these shows. But. <laughs> Uh, anyway, is that kind of, was that the last song of the evening? Is this, I've got one more. Is this the encore? This, well, this, yeah, I guess this could be the encore. Oh, well, yeah. let's see if the, let's, we have to see if the audience even okay. wants the encore. Okay. So let's just see. All right. Uh, and okay. of course they do, because you, 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 All right. they just can't we get have to do okay. <laughs> okay, come on up. Thank you, guys. Uh, what do you got for us? Uh, this is a tune from uh, an album mine called The Lonely Road, and this is a favorite uh, when I, I play live, it's called Seat 3A. Yeah, all right. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, David. Hey, just a couple of quick things. Randy Lawrence says, nice. David Becker. Thank you, Randy. And uh, Roland says, he says, I hear some Athenian there. Beautiful piece, full of energy, and very tasteful use of the Ebo. Kudos to you. Thanks. And Amber Marie says, hi. Awesome job. Hi, Marie. And, and I'm trying to think if, uh, if I forgot anybody who said that, but I also want to make sure that Roland sent a tip in. So thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you, everybody that came by. Thank you, David. That was fun. Thank you, Billy. Thanks we'll for having me. have to have you me. back. When you I get back from all your travels. I will come back after the, I'll come after the Kiwi tour. How's that? There you go. And then, uh, you know, I'm sure you will have written so it will go around the world again yeah i'm actually working on a new record starting next week so i have a whole bunch of new stuff so i will very cool uh well a couple last thing michael says awesome chris says bravo roland says oh yeah with 12 thumbs up and Thanks. uh everything is great so i'm gonna play the outro now and again take two weeks off i'll send the, the email out and you can just watch some clips and things like that we got a bunch of new clips and stuff up on the website uh and if you want to send a tip in you're watching this on an archive never too late send it in but uh, let me send you off with the uh, farewell video. I can find the darn thing. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you all soon. Thanks again, David. Thank you. And why is this not playing? <laughs> Thanks for joining us at Live at Zero BPM. These shows will be archived on YouTube and Facebook, so tell your friends. Coming up on Thursday, June 9th. It's the two-year anniversary special featuring Brad Rebuchin, Ahmed Turkmenoglu, Mark Ferber, and surprise special guests. Showtime, 7 to 8 p.m. Pacific. Go to live at 0ppm.com for details and to sign up for our mailing list. Also, find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you soon.